Let me explain measures of central tendency. Under this, I am going to talk about three important measures of center. They are mean, mode, and median. In this video, I am going to explain about mean. And next video, I will explain mode and median. What is the mean? Yes, mean is also called the arithmetic average. The notation for the mean is x bar. Now, how do we find the mean? Suppose there are n observations, then get the sum of the observations and divide up by the number of observations, which is n here. We can write this in short x bar equal sum i goes from 1 to n xi divided by n. Now let me explain some examples. First one, find the mean of the following data set. First, find the sum of these observation. That means i goes from 1 to n xi. So how do we find the sum of these? First, understand the n. How many data or how many observations here? 5. Therefore, i goes from 1 to n become sum i goes from 1 to 5. So get the summation of these observations which is 20. To find the x bar, we should divide this number by n. Here n is 5, so x bar is 20 divided by 5 that is 4. Go to the next example. Sam got his friends to do a long jump and obtained this result in feet. Find the average length of the long jump. First, find the sum of these observations. There are 9 observations here, so n equal 9. So we can find the sum i goes from 1 to 9 xi, that is 29.5. To find the x bar, we should divide this by n, that is 9 here. So 29.5 divided by n. That is 3.28. Okay, go to the last example. The weights for a sample of adults before starting a weight loss study are listed. What is the mean weight of the adults? How many observations are here? There are 7 observations. Then, how do we find the x bar? Add them together, divide up by 7. That is the 258. 0.57 pounds. I hope you understand how to find the mean. In my next video, I will explain how to find the median and mode.